Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to personalize your puffle. And this puffle I got from Toys R Us for about $7. Now that was like two years ago, so um, prices may change and may be different from where you live. Um, they come in different um, colors, different styles, and different series. Um, I, I forget what series this is, but it is the pink puffle and I do see. Um, this is the smiling pink puffle. Um, some of the puffles come with, come with hats, and if you have a hat, hatted puffle, then this video will not work for you. Um, if you want to like personalize your puffle even more, get one with actual kind of hair. And yeah. So, I'm going to show you how you can turn this mess, messy hair, into a wonderful, awesome looking puffle. Um, so what you're going to need is a comb. Um, one that the teeth are really far apart, like not too far, but like mostly far, you know, not too skinny. And they're pretty thick teeth. It's like a sturdy comb. So you need one of those combs. Um, you'll also need like little hair bands, like maybe this kind or even rainbow loom bands. And if you're doing rainbow loom bands, get two or three of the same color. You can also use mini barrettes. Ah, oops. But I choose not to because they kind of look like one is fine, but two or three just kind of looks weird and also if you know how to crochet you can crochet a two rounded uh, headband that is that's able to fit around your puffles body I made this one neon green kind of reminds me of like seaweed or something but it's cool you put it around and it fits around like a headband so if you have like a little headband that fits your puffle, that is like the main one I would think you might want to use. You can also use like other kinds of barrettes or ponytails, um, depending on what you have. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is use your comb and you're going to just kind of like go through your puffle's hair a lot. It makes your puffle's hair a lot softer and easier to do in the future. Just go all the way around. Doesn't matter if it's not the way you want it. You just want to brush it out for right now. So now you have your puffle hair all brushed out. If you feel like you need to get any more spots, feel free. Um, so you can actually like style it, like put it back or part it or do something with the barrettes or something. But what I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to do first is show you how to make your regular everyday puffle hair from online. So what you need to do is you take your puffle and you just shake it and instantly your puffle's hair is poofed up and it just like looks so picture perfect. You can smooth it out a little depending on what you want and add a headband if you want or you can continue and keep on styling so I'm just going to keep on styling so I'm going to use these rainbow looms as a little tiny ponytail so I'm just going to bunch it all up like from the top I'm going to take a rubber band, and the rubber band, um, I would suggest, if you have the choice, um, try making it a matching or um, going well with a complementary color. Now you see this part in the back. This is, I don't think you can see it, but this part, these parts sticking up, this is when you can use a barrette. 
try using the least visible, and for this case it'd be yellow. You take the part and stick it in. Right. It kind of folds it in for you. And this is that's one puffle hairstyle. Now if you don't like that, then you can er so these barrettes are hard to do. You can um just do pigtails on the side, like on each side or three. Um you can also just kinda like you know kind of free flow it. Or you know. Oh yeah. Um from a different video you can that I've learned how to do. You just kinda take a little part. And you make it like bangs and then you kinda design it from there. Just try to fit as much as you can in there. And yeah. So there's like different ways you can style your hair. Hopefully these ideas can help. I know I've had my puffle for a while. I really haven't like noticed it in the past couple of years. But um right now I'm getting into Club Penguin again. Um yeah. So um I'm planning on maybe making a vlog or so or something like that for Club Penguin and it'll have stuff like this. Um this is what I normally do. Um if you do have a headband, I'll show you one more style. Um Hold on. Alright, so you get like part down and you put it under that little part. You put that little part underneath and then you kind of wrap it around and you push it behind the, the um, headband. Now, if you do more, then it will be thicker, but if you do less, it'll be, like, really light, so the best time is whenever it's thicker. Um, I'm just not going to fix it right now, but, uh, that's the best time you do it, is when it's thicker. So, you guys, um, maybe next time, if there is a next time, I will show you how to, um, how to make a harness for your puffle. If you're interested in that, please comment below. If no one's interested in it, I will not make it, and I will not make it until someone comments below, so. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out my blog at laloopsy111.blogspot.com, and check out my Google Plus, our Google, Google Plus page, laloopsy111, um, yeah, and if you if you're into Club Penguin and you want more videos like this for your puffle at home or a special thing for your penguin at home, like the stuffed penguins and puffles or your keychain puffles or whatever, if you have, if you want me to do something for it, please comment below and yeah, just to let you know I only have a puffle. But I do have a couple books, but the only physical thing is a puffle that I have. So yeah, um, that's all. Um, like I said before, thanks for watching. We're up to 52 subscribers still, and there's still a couple days to do the contest if you have not already. And if no one enters the contest, then I will cancel it and I will do it for later. So thank you guys for watching, like, comment, share, and subscribe again, and tell your friends about us, um, 
If you do recommend a friend, we will we will give you a shout out in our next shout out video, which is going to probably come soon. Um, yeah, that's all. Um, bye guys.